Here's the best Willie, Boss Hog. Hey, forget trying to fire me. I'm blood kin. For, so just look, get over it, son. And also, I quit. Right. Yeah. yeah, before you can fire me, I would quit on you anyway. So, yeah. hey. <laughs> That's what, that was the first uh, episode of Duck Dynasty. He was wearing weird <laughs> flip-flops, and he kicked his shoe off and said, and I can't fire you because you're kin, you're to, kin me. to me. And Jimmy Red was standing there, <laughs> along was, with me and Galvin. We're like, well, now you can fire her. That's, when you, that's yeah. when you know, boys, that, hey, you can just go, ah, I got it made. But sit back and enjoy <laughs> right. the just, best of Willie. That's right. <laughs> Hey, pour me some of that tea, just a little bit. Just, <laughs> just a little bit? Like, like, hey, just give me about yourself, half. Huh? Hey, like, yeah, give me a little shot of that. Just, <laughs> just pass it around. Yeah, We're pass pouring around, it up boy, today, right. boy. <laughs> just a warning of you may end up like that after yeah. drinking. Hey, that's really colored shine. I've never drank <laughs> Uncle Si's iced tea in my life. Oh, oh, that's freshly I'm brewed. kind of in a bind, that's, boys. No, uh, that's freshly brewed this morning. Sir. It's solid. No, it's he's good. It's solid. Yeah. It's good. Yeah, I've drank it. I always said I drink as much tea as him. I'm just not as famous for it. If you <laughs> saw how he makes his tea, yeah. you wouldn't drink it. Well, wait a minute. What are you talking about? Well, how many ways are there to make tea? Yeah. You well, I've use... never used tap water in a microwave to make tea. Uh, really? He does the no. tap water? What? No. I, don't, I do it. That so you just heat the water? What? I, I, you, you boil heat? it. You, it. I boil it. It is boiling. In yeah, the microwave. So you boil it. Yeah, well, that's the same. Okay. In well, the microwave. In, in a microwave or on the oven. Most of the time, I just put it in the oven, you know, put it on a pan, fill it full well, of water, throw five tea bags in it, and get after it. <laughs> here's yeah. the deal. I So I used to boil. I, well, I didn't wouldn't boil it, but I'd get it to almost a boil, put the tea bag in. Oh, so I, I did it old that. school as well. I and then, But look, I had a dude over. Corey had put out this fancy crystal-looking pitcher. <laughs> My water went to boil. Didn't this realize. Deal. I'm oh. pouring the water in. I'm talking to the guy. And literally, I had the thought, can you pour boiling water in something like this? And as soon as the thought went through my brain, it exploded, and all of my tea went onto my thighs and my lower leg, which was boiling which, water. And, Ooh, yeah, it's burnt. Let me tell you something. Yeah, it burnt paint. Don't ever do that. Yeah, we paint. probably still yeah. got some pictures. Yeah. That, Don't that was, ever uh, do that. That's a D-E-D. That. Two months. Yeah. Don't ever do this. <laughs> and I told the doctor, I said, well, I got to play in a golf tournament next week. And he said, no. No, you ain't going to make that. I said, oh, yeah. You, uh, yeah, I'll be, yeah, yeah. I'll be, I will be your patient. That will be it. Now, that wasn't even a chance. Mm. So I had to wear a little shorty shorts for two months and scrape it all off. I had to wear a Christian, Christian shorts. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Apparently, all my kids laugh at me and say my shorts are too long. You on that basketball short? No, I mean every pair of shorts I buy is, is too long, but I'm getting them from a store. I don't know, you know. So huh. they said, "Dad, the shorts are now they're shorter now." Mm-mm. No, no, that no. This is the debate. Uh. They said, "Look at Christian. It's always Christian. Look at Christian. Oh, yeah, he looks like yeah. the 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 form that <laughs> the, the thing. The model. You know, yeah. yeah, When you go to the store, the model. It's basically yeah. Christian. Yeah, there he's without, the he's the know, mannequin. That's yeah. like yeah. the model. Gray face or whatever. And they said, no, his shorts don't. <laughs> but I realize I, my 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 I have surprisingly short legs." Yeah. Because Corey and I are the same height, but her legs are like nine inch. Her hip is nine inches above mine. So my yeah. So she got a short I'm torso. Possibly yeah. deformed. I'm not sure, but my legs are short. <laughs> but the waist isn't like skinny. Yeah. So when you when you hit that waist size, there's a there's an assumptive uh, length to the knee. <laughs> Preach. Preach. But that's not true on me. You know, Preach. it's like hey, no legs. Yeah. I mean, I'm pushing around the forty waistline, so they're like, oh well, we know what this size this guy is. I'm like, no, I'm not even. I'm half that person. Yeah. That's, uh, no, no, so no, no, I've yeah. got this look, you know, and so I'm trying to now. But I feel like when I wear the shorter shorts, I feel like I'm back playing basketball again <laughs> in high school, like when Sal was growing up in the eighties, uh-huh. and they they feel a little awkwardly short. But I'm a se- I think I'm going with this look because no, they're no. telling me. That's what no, everybody's I, I doing. So what do I do? I do I get so no. dear duck call room. Yeah. Do I get rid of all my shorts that are longer to the knees or past, or do I go with the new 2021? What is? That? I don't even know what year. Yeah, 2021. <laughs> yeah, 2021 <laughs> look of the uh, more snuggly shorter the shorts. I'm a what firm, says y'all? I'm a firm believer. When you sit down, the back of your shorts should be right there at the back of your knee, like yeah. that. That's just. 
That's your fashion. Uh, that's no. Your I'm not saying it's well, fashion. I mean, I'm saying it's it's couth. couth. It's it's couth. Co- it's covering yeah. now, couth now, and you protection. Yes. Yeah. When was it in the '80s? Yeah. Short shorts. Well, back when Larry Bird. Larry Bird. Back, see, we're gonna bring this all the way back. To I, I still have nightmares. You know, you go back to my dad being a coach. They, them, he'd wear them bike oh, yeah. coaching shorts. Mm. Yeah, that were short and really tight mm-hmm. in the in the. Well, your dad was area. similar to me, although your dad was at a different level oh, than me as yeah. far as waist size oh, was comparative to oh, how far. <laughs> <laughs> to the like your dad's waist size, he coached me. His waist size would have yeah. said he was eight foot two. Oh, that's right. Yeah, but Big Mike, but he wasn't. Dude, I'm sitting in my house the other night. And I looked down, and this mouse, not only did he, like, I thought we had a deal. Like, mice come out when they, you see them, then they run off. Oh, this guy's like, what are you looking at? I dare you. I no, dare he's just you. looking at me like, and I'm looking at him, I'm like, really? And he, he, so he scurries under the thing, and I'm like, I'm fixing to get that. He comes back out, just chins up on me, looking at me like, you're still there? I'm like, Yeah. I'm still here. Well, you ain't going to the kitchen. I t- well, then I said, "All right, little buddy, you're gonna you're gonna be running one day or night, and all of a sudden you're gonna hit something, and you're not gonna be able to move, and then you're gonna realize, yeah, do not gum it. Seek he a put treasure. a sticky thing out, and I can't move my feet anymore. Yeah, do not." See, I've had so crazy. I've had so many my they it man they've been rolling. It's it. been a plague of them since this last cold yeah, snap. I don't know, but it's all the little ones. It's all the little field mice. Yeah, it's not no big no. one. It ain't the big cotton rats or what. Well, we got them thing living at your mom and dad. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, the, whatever. The that's squirrel. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna buy a. Uh, I'm gonna get me a pet chicken snake for my living room so that it'll eat the mice. <laughs> there you go. That'll go over. That's well. what yeah. I do. Why not? Hey, it's when, better than a cat. When we come back from this first break, will you tell the story about when you threw a snake on your wife? I love that. I will. Yeah. Let's take a break and do that. <laughs> That's a good one. Look at this. You know how much we talk about AG1? They have a sweet website if you go look at it. Have you been to their website, Phil? Yes, I have. You I have? Yeah. It gives you instructions, tells you how to mix it with cold water, mm-hmm. enjoy the refreshing taste, and get all your whole body benefits, like immune defense, more nutrients, focus and energy, gut health. Now, let me tell you about the focus and energy. Before I started drinking AG1, me You and were all wife, over the place. I was like scattered. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Fragmented in my thinking. Fragmented, <laughs> boy. But he, he was hey, AG1, it helps me with, with my gut health, and also it helps me to be focused. You can tell a difference. Yeah, you can. Especially you really at can. my age, getting up uh, there in the age. Uh, a frag grenade <laughs> for your health right <laughs> there. here in one scoop. It's going to blow your mind, That's all the it. things that'll right. do. Look, uh. we've been drinking AG1 for quite some time now. If you've been a long listener of the podcast, you know that. And look, we're not a bunch of health gurus. This isn't a health podcast. We love snacks, but we also try and stay healthy, and AG1 is a big part of that. That's because AG1 is a foundational nutrition supplement that supports your body's universal needs like gut optimization, stress management, and immune support. Since 2010, AG1 has led the future of foundational nutrition, continuously refining their formula to create a smarter, better way to elevate your baseline health. Wait One scoop in the glass, you shake it up, you're ready to go. Every, do you do it every morning? I drink it every morning, you and drink my wife every drinks morning? it every Did morning. Did you just say something about stress? Yeah, are you stressed? Hey, no, but I didn't know that AG1 had stress factors in it. <laughs> stress factors <laughs> yeah, are gone when you drink AG1. It really relief. does. It's going to replace all those pills and multivitamins right there in that one scoop. It's got magnesium and B vitamins for energy support, vitamin C and zinc to help support your immune health. It is a fantastic product, and that's why they've been a partner for so long, and we keep talking about them. AG1 is the supplement I trust to provide the support my body needs daily, and that's why they've been a partner for so long. If you want to take ownership over your health, it starts with AG1. Try AG1 and get a free one-year supply of vitamin D3, K2, and five free AG1 travel packs with your first purchase. Go to drinkag1.com duck. That's drinkag1.com duck. Check it out. So you were brave enough or dumb enough or I don't really know the correct term to throw a snake on Corey? Uh, well, technically, I threw it in the vicinity. Um, <laughs> so this was about year two of marriage. And they've made it. Just remember that, folks. So 
I was in the yard doing some yard work, and I come across a little what kind of king snake. But it was a smallish king snake. Mm-hmm. So I picked it up. I took it in the house. I was going to show it off. And uh, my wife was taking a shower. <laughs> and then sometimes in life, opportunity pops up. <laughs> and I'm like, how funny would this be? So I just go in there. And it's, we have like the curtain, you know, that hangs. And so I just threw it over the top and then scurried out. And I mean, it was the funniest. The noises. All the shower curtain gets ripped off, and she was not happy. He, oh, not, so you didn't only throw it on her. You threw it, it on her in the shower. In the shower. Wow. Does oh. she know that you did that? Uh, well, I think she assumed. <laughs> I don't know how many people are bouncing in there when she's in the shower. Oh, but yeah, I mean. Out of there. Oh, man. It was just wow. me and the snake. Man, I thought what wow. I did to Brittany last year was bad with a snake, but that ain't nothing, no. I just knew we have a garter snake that lives in our flower bed. Oh. He lives in a little the sprinkler cap thing, yeah. the irrigation control. Well, I knew he's in there because I took it off to turn my sprinklers on, and he just stayed. So the next day I said, hey, I, I can't get this cap off. you got small fingers. You, you come in here and get that thing. Uh-uh. And when, <laughs> when she stuck her finger in that sprinkler cap, it, it just he, he come up here and licked her finger. Uh-uh. Buddy? Gone. That Tennessee hillbilly was was just jetting <laughs> across my yard. Down the road. I'm talking about, and she said, there's something in there. I thought, no, what are you talking about? You know? And I said, look, there ain't nothing in there. When I popped it off, he just sitting there smiling. And I start, I couldn't I couldn't control it. I started oh, dying laughing. laughing. Snake yeah. jokes. Huh? I never did. Well, it's a harmless snake. It's a garter snake. Oh, he ain't going to do nothing Johnny, to you. He, that's, what's he going to do? To, I mean. He just come up there and give her a little kiss on the finger. And I'm proud to report he's still there this year, so nothing snuffed him out in a year. You can go there right now and go pet him if you want to. So, Well, we used to have a box that uh, that covered up the uh, cutoff valve. And so every time you open this thing, there was a black widow spider. I mean. I don't like want him as a pet. Money. Ooh. And so I was telling this older guy about this spider, and I said, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to open this up, and there's going to be a black widow spider. I don't care how many I killed, they always came back. So I opened it up, and there was no spider. And I thought, Dad, gun, there's always a spider. And I kid you not, when I looked down, I saw her crawling inside of my pants at the bottom. Nope. Oh, no. I saw the spider go up. I'm going to tell you, I was standing there in my underwear in about three seconds. And here's the crazy thing. I never did find the spider. Like, I'm just standing there in my underwear and saw, I mean, shoes are off. I don't know where that thing went, but Trying it disappeared. I saw it go in inside the pants leg. And then you 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 shed said pants leg. And I leg. shed it fast because I thought, <laughs> I mean, I got so much room for that thing. You like one, you look wow. like one of them basketball players coming off the bench, didn't you? Just yeah. got them britches that just exactly, rip off. Exactly, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but what if I would have seen it? What if? Oh, you'd have felt him eventually. Felt her eventually. Yeah, I imagine suppose. that wow. just dough popping you up in the inner thigh region. Oh, mm. right below the nether region. Holy yeah, that's no. a bad deal there. Mm. I don't now, know that I've ever been bit by a spider. But that's where all small insects end up for whatever reason. So you know that's where she'd have got you. Oh yeah. I mean, well, most of them end up in your mouth, like when you're sleeping. Yeah. Like, don't we eat like a thousand that. spiders in our lifetime? I've heard that. Something like that. Yeah. <laughs> Especially if you're a mouth breather. Yeah. Oh, Glad they're not fattening. Uh, <laughs> I think my favorite snake was when Phil chopped the copperhead. So he took a shovel and he hit a copperhead. There's probably four inches of snake. Then he throws it at the dog. Don't ask me why. (laughs) And the dog gets bitten by the piece of the snake. I remember that. That's old Jesse. And the dog's head's full up. That was old Jesse. Yep. Wasn't it? Yeah, mm-hmm. Jesse's the one that. Yeah, Jesse's been snake bit like fifty times. So oh yeah, because he poisonous. Like yeah, he couldn't stand it. Mm-mm. He couldn't stand he to see to a snake and kill it. Kill he him. had to kill every snake he run across. That's Little a rat good terrier. Dog. But we've had so we've had a lot of guests. Corey, you're one of the favorites. Kay's one well, of the favorites. Thank you, Willie. Everybody in Iowa thinks you're a jerk, but that's okay. Iowa. <laughs> you don't even remember. You've never <laughs> watched an episode. I've you never don't watched remember, an episode. You don't remember what you <laughs> said. Amazon River had come up, and when it comes up, they're just like, all right, well, this is how we live now, swimming and paddling and all that, so. 
That's why I go to Iowa, just to remember how good we have it. <laughs> no, Iowa. Nobody in Iowa. Why did you nobody do that? in the state of Iowa is listening to this right now. That's so. not true. Nobody. I'll I probably guarantee. you won't get one email from Iowa. <laughs> oh, yes, I will. You <laughs> will not get one. There's not looking. one person in That's the state. Be looking. You yeah. you literally go, oh that you made fun of Iowa, and then you go, ah, oh, nobody from Iowa watches this I anyway. I love Iowa. I, don't, I'm, I, got I was just joking. A like, hundred okay. emails. Man, Iowa, I was like one of my brothers. Like, I joke with them. Like, we're, <laughs> we're super close. We have a love that is kind of Willie's love language. If he, like, makes fun of you, or he, that means he likes you. That's, that's like kind you. of his love language. I love all language. the cities in Iowa. I love Both uh, of them. Des Moines. I love <laughs> oh, Cedar gosh. Rapids. He's, he's like, all enough. the others. All those other cities in Iowa. To get you got right, Iowa, man. you got the Hawkeyes, you got Iowa State. I feel like I other just, stuff in Iowa. Corn. I mean, who doesn't love corn? I try. Who doesn't love corn? Everybody bro. likes corn. It's a great little super. <laughs> it make a great. I Christmas love it. Is it a square okay, state? Right. Is it like a small square? Just right in the middle. You don't even know what Iowa I, looks. I, like? I don't even know what it looks like. That's that's how close we are. That's no, how close you don't we know are. what it looks like because uh, I, I, we're so close. I don't even pay attention anymore. It was like that's my brother. That's my little brother Iowa. Right like there. when Corey gets okay, there, he's right there you somewhere in the notice. middle of the country, exactly doing what he does. <laughs> no, you, after that episode you were on, I was like, hey, tell, uh, Willie, I was listening. Hey, I would check it in here. I was just scrolling <laughs> through them. So, uh, good I folks love, of Iowa, I, love Iowa. I got your back. Number one, every pillow we had smelled like pee. So, oh, <laughs> sorry. That, and had duck lice. Hey, here's the deal. <laughs> yes. We both wet the bed, but I had a nose spray to make me stop. Uh-oh. <laughs> That's the difference between oh, me. What? I, I did a nose spray every night before bed so I wouldn't wet the bed. My mom put on plastic sheets. I've never, yeah, we didn't do that. I've never heard of that. We had no spray. I also never had a worm or cockroach oh. crawl in my ear while I was sleeping. Mm. Have you? Did you ever get worms? Did you have to do the deworming pill? Whoa, 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 whoa. Time out, time out. I had some. That's got to be another. No, time out. Let's take worm? a break. We talking about Who deworming. here was deworm? That's, Not, just think deworm. about it. We'll find that out in here in about 20 seconds. Martin, yo, buddy. it is Christmas. It is. They're down to the wire, but we've got a last second Hail Mary option for you. Oh, it's a good one. It's what is it? It's a good it? one. MyPillow.com. Big, oh, biggest sorry. betting sale ever. It is. Just in time for Christmas. I, hey, and I'm here to tell you, you could even scratch out Christmas and put in, I don't know, duck season. Anything you want. <laughs> Nobody's going to be upset. About great betting from Mike Lindell. I, I I agree. And if you need some new sheets, look, you can get the Giza Dream bed sheets for as low as twenty nine ninety eight. You can add a set of pillowcases for as low as nine ninety eight. You know, quick math says that's a little less than forty dollars for a full set of bedding. You, they, where, where are you going to beat that? How, you, how are you going to beat that? You're not. Because hey, you know what else they have? And Brittany's driving me crazy with this. They got blankets in a variety of sizes, colors, and styles. And they even have blankets for your pet. But this time of year where she's like, I want the house hot, but I also want to be on a blanket. So yeah. she's, it's like air conditioning, heat, air conditioning, heat. It's a it's a weird thing. I'm like, just use the MyPillow blanket, and you, you ain't got to worry about it. Like, And if that's not enough, they got duvets, quilts, down comforters, body pillows, bolster pillows. They got it all. Uh, but you know what they have more than that? The biggest discounts ever. Discounts across the board. Yeah. Unbelievable. And they're extending their money back guarantee for Christmas until March 1st, 2024, making them the perfect gifts for your friends, your family, and everyone you know. And all you got to do is go to MyPillow.com slash duck right now and use promo code duck. That's it. Look. We have everything. Yeah. Hugh Hefner, you still loving that robe? You, hey, look. Am I living there? <laughs> I, I didn't sleep ask. in that robe. Oh. You sleep in the robe? He don't even yeah. get dressed. He just oh. keeps the robe on all right, I'm glad robe you on, boy. put on clothes for this, but I know you're robe only at home. <laughs> <laughs> robed, I'm only robed on home. <laughs> Sign his robe. Yeah, we got sheets. We got slippers. We got robes. We got towels. We got pillows. We love them. I, I'm telling <laughs> you right now, and they all say my on it. You know why? Because they're ours. They're yeah. yours. But they can be. <laughs> It's just a simple. great price. All you have to do is go to mypillow.com slash duck. Enter promo code duck. Or call 800 969 3137. You'll get huge discounts on all MyPillow bedding products, including the Giza Dream bed sheets for as low as $29.98. And get all your shopping done now while quantities last. Just go to mypillow.com slash duck. And enter promo code duck. Or call 800 969 3137 to get your Giza Dream sheets now. Do wow. it! 
you so what you're telling me is you were taking ivermectin before it was cool. <laughs> oh, is that yep, what it is? That's right. I mean, that's what you yeah. deworm stuff with is I, ivermectin. Does yeah. it make your mouth red? Oh, like I don't. These pills made your teeth red, tongue red. Everything was red, and it was dewormer. Mine was purple. But the beauty of the internet is, 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 is this I still? Think I, I want to know somebody out there. Surely somebody from Missouri or Northern Arkansas. <laughs> Was dewormed as a child. You were dewormed with a purple. It was purple. This one was red. And it was the most nastiest. Oh, this was awful. Uh, you just about throw up trying to get it down. But did you have worms? Like I was full of worms. I don't know. I don't. No, I, know. I, I, you my, were my, something. I had something full of them. Something. Yeah. What were you doing? How, how did you find them? If you'd have put I mean, them, I don't want to get. Is like, that the worms? Oh, like, is that why it's bred into humans? Like when you you take a dump, you stand up, you look at it. Yeah. To, yeah. You, you're checking when for it worms. moves about six inches after you've done it. Yeah, you got worms. So it was swimming. Yeah. Oh. I don't. Know. Oh my. Is this like? Is am I the only one? <laughs> Oh my! I had pillowcases. Oh, I, I want to hear know. about the. I want to hear these emails because I, don't here, I know there's other people. That. Yeah, and then we'd have to take the worm pills and. So what all parasites did you have as a yeah. kid? You had worms. No, y'all had a lice problem there for a while. Oh, we had li- lice. Was like <laughs> they just lived there. <laughs> lice was like Friday. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, That's well, why Phil cut our hair. He just took the clippers and just shaved that mess off. He's like, all right, boys, somebody's got a lice. <laughs> Everybody line up. Everybody got a buzz. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> wow. Oh. So this, had, this is not how it went down up in the, when you were in the. No, in not the on the street. Bed. Not on the street you live on, sir. You um, had your monogrammed initials on your door as you walked yeah. in this way. No, I had Dan Marley on my door. Thank you. <laughs> oh, my goodness. So you, you confirmed had worms and lice. Yeah, wow. worms for sure. Oh, lice. Yeah. I mean, I had all lice. the time. Like, That's crazy. I ain't ever. Did y'all have lice all the time? Uh, hmm. well, if, if you I know, had it one time. I obviously don't have a very hospitable environment for lice up there. So the, I, lice don't survive on the moon. Uh, so. What else? Yeah. Yeah. I, then I had the roach. Yeah. I had a roach crawl in my ear, uh, hit my um, eardrum. That's <laughs> that's not fun. And didn't your dad like pour syrup in your ears? No. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm screaming. I, I'm, I don't. I don't. I, I can't see anything. All I know is my head feels like it's fixing to explode, and so Dad's like, Mom's like, "What's wrong with him?" And so, I, and I, I can't even. I can't even keep my head straight. And you don't be quiet. I'm on whoop. Well, it was all that. Then he was like, "Okay, he's actually really hurt." And then so he he turns my head to the side and he starts pouring something in. I don't know what he's pouring in there. Well, it's the cure all of cure alls, camphophenic. <laughs> yep. He just pours it in my ear. Yep. And what happened, everything just got, it didn't like make the pain go away exactly, but it like everything just got slower. <laughs> and so I'm like, it still hurts. And so finally Phil says, take him to the hospital. I don't know what's wrong with him. So we go up there and the dude looks in my ear and he goes, um, it's a giant ball of wax. And I'm like, oh, that's embarrassing. But I'm like, why does this hurt? So like, why would wax hurt that bad? And then he said, wait a minute. Uh, it's got, hair and they're like huh and he said it's got wings and we said it's got wings i'm like hang on and he goes it's alive and so now we know something is living in my ear so from we went from wax to hairball yeah. to flying he didn't ball. he was just All seeing this he's moving so he reached in these tweezers and he grabs a hold it what it was is a water roach and it had Literally, oh, just, one of them big. Yeah, and he one crawled out my ear and just disappeared like Star Trek 2. And so <laughs> oh, he oh. reaches in with these tweezers and he starts pulling that sucker out. And I'm going to tell you all something. When something is coming out of your ear hole, you've never felt pressure. I mean, it, it feels like your head's fixing to explode. I have, well, so I'm screaming and then it just went pop and he pops that thing out immediate right it, yeah and then he but for an hour he had to dig out legs and wings and i, I mean whatever else fell off in my ear oh, yeah. from the struggle because i left the door open and i left my light on so i'm sleeping like mouth open and i've got no telling how many insects crawling on top of me oh that's four inches from crawling in your mouth 
That'd have been a way better path. That's two oh, inches. Oh, I'd have just ate him. Yeah, yeah. That, you don't want him going in your ear, especially because I didn't know he was in. I didn't know what. I didn't know what was. I mean, yeah. I thought I was. You can't like, check your ear. No, nah. like, that's that's most of. So you, Phil, when he poured the Campo Fanique in my ear, it kind of like drowned him a little bit. Like he, yeah, he slowed still kind of moved it. Yeah, but he's like now he's got all this liquid and. I know what you're talking about because when we filmed that Ooh. redneck water park thing for Duck Dynasty, they had us go off that stupid rope swing. Yeah. Well, the mature athlete I am landed on my side. The mature uh, yeah. And I I did. I knocked. Apparently, I had a bunch of old earwax or something in my ear, and I knocked a big wax plug in my ear. So I'm like, oh, God. Oh, God. This hurts. I this, remember that. I mean, it was terrible. You, couldn't, you so, said, I got water in my ear. I can't I, get it out. I couldn't get it out. I could never get it out. And so I went to the doctor the next day, and the way they got that thing out, he just shot more water up in there behind yeah. it to get yeah, it that's out. That's what they and shoot when, water, yeah. And when he put when he put that pressure on the inside of my ear, I, I thought I was gonna pass out. I'm I was like, mm. I mean, I just it 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 like paralyzed me. I was like, oh, okay. but it's, then as soon out. as that wall that ball come out, everything yeah. was good. Yeah, that's the way it was. There's always been a bunch of weirdos at the Robertsons homes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. We're like a magnet firm. It's a uh, for strange. You people. say we, which which side are you on that? Like, are you the weirdo side oh, or the hey, Robertson side, hey. or both? Or both? Or both. <laughs> or both. Yeah, both. Yeah, both. Are those mutually <laughs> of exclusive of one another? <laughs> Y'all got a like a weird magnet for strange humans. Oh you no, you got it too. He don't know. You got it. That's bad. why I said the Robertson uh, family. And I, I'll I'll take full credit. Hey, y'all are, one y'all of are some of my collectibles. So <laughs> like, like you're, you're the I'm one. in on that whole little list of weirdos. <laughs> well, no, he kept enough of us normal ones around to make the weird ones not seem so bad. Like, I'm somewhere in between, probably. Well, I was told because hey, there's no such thing as normal. Well, first and I wonder if I have a friend list that's going. Wait a minute, my. Well, let me. No, they wouldn't be listening. Yeah, normal. Yeah, the ones that we're talking about wouldn't be. Maybe, normal. maybe Speaking normal is normal. wrong. Stable is maybe the word I was looking for. About eight years ago, <laughs> Willie and Corey got in a big argument on is Willie normal, and he was like, "Of course I'm normal." Was it? Was that the question? Yeah, it was over the word normal, and you were like, you looked at me, and were like, John David, I'm normal, aren't I? And I was like, uh, I'm totally normal. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> Does being an eccentric really? not make you normal? You different, bro. I'm no, the, I would I'm say the most he's... normal person ever. Like <laughs> most no- uh, You heard it here first, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, Willie Robertson quote the boring. most normal person. I just said person. normal, <laughs> like a normal. That's why I said. That's why I made the statement. Boring. There's no such thing as normal. I'm trying to think of who I would classify as the most normal person ever, then compare you to them. That's no. Yeah. Uh, normal guy. You, yeah. you feel like you, you're normal? Yeah. What yeah. are you going to come no, up I with? No, I know I'm weird. No, I know I'm a nerd. You don't and, think you're normal? He he knows that I, I, he can I, go I, get a snake out of his well, uh, drain pipe the right now. definition of normal is. Yeah, well, I mean, I don't know. I don't think I, – I, I obsess over goofy things, so I don't think – I think that takes me out of the normal category. People like call me needing to know not. plants and animals and like there's just stuff that, that it that, I mean you're smart I mean you can be smart. well but you see but, yeah but all that is but is I nerd curiosity. out there's a difference between being smart and then like actually go like doing what I do with no. it like taking seeds out of ducks gizzards and growing them in a pot just so I can mm. see what they're eating that's like too, that's I, well no no that's too far that's, no, that's, weird. No, that's what I'm saying no it ain't. That's actually smart. And this confirms that it's well, weird. Right. Like, no, I'm it aware. Weird. Like, I said, yeah. no, it ain't man, weird. That's, that's normal. Like, no. No, I, I understand it's not. No, no, because my when you said that, a vivid picture popped up in my head. Uh-oh. You know, we're on Dark Lake Darbone. Oh, when, boy. When I was in college with Phil, Tommy and Harold and, you know, the whole family, my nerds. But anyway, How big was the boat? You know, hey, he throws the first cast, catches about a pounder. As soon as he reels him in, he grabs the fillet knife that he had stuck in the boat and fillets it right quick. And then you see him cutting the stomach and he's going through it with a knife. And then the next time he said, hey, reel it on in. Boom. He cranked that 20 horse mercury up and down the lake we go. He said, I said, what, what were you doing? He said, seeing what they was eating. And he said, and I know where a bunch of it is. So, hey, we run down there. He shuts the motor off, and then we caught about, oh, 
filled a 62 quarter uh, cooler up with bath. Not normal. Uh, what do you mean not normal? That's just not smart. <laughs> hey, this <laughs> segment brought to you by what is Honey Hole Outdoor. <laughs> uh, we have a human billboard right here. And, uh, so if you want to catch good fish, <laughs> oh, open thing. up the guts and look at what's that's up. That's what he's eating. Go where that is. Go there. Artificial bait. I, honey Hole, right? Hey, up, honey right. Hole. Right. Billy calls me a billboard because I always am wearing my work uniform. This man's got both go. of his logos tattooed on his arms. And wearing another one right in the middle yeah. of his chest. <laughs> so I'm at two and you're at three. And Could you can buy this shirt this online is the shirt at duckcommander.com. Speaking of. I'm. Turn your cup around and show it. What? It's got your own. Red, white, and blue, man. Red, white, and blue. The other red, side's white, got his own America. face. What? Hey, you don't like that's America just for either? him to, to look at and once while and know what he looked like. He's got his own face on his cup. That's right. He keeps and you've got your name on yours. That's so. right. That's to remind me who I am. Uh, I got a very okay, so nondescript forget. bottle here. None of us are normal. <laughs> no, no. I, I think I that's where we're at. I think if we were, you wouldn't We've have a microphone. We've decided none of this foursome is normal? No way. Mm -mm. I still feel like I'm. Well, you gotta come up. Gotta get my mic. Yeah. <laughs> Not We gotta get that man a straw. No. <laughs> okay. The, the, you gotta define what, normal. What is the definition? That's just like you have to. In, okay. To settle this, we'll go. Okay. First, you gotta. I mean, is Godwin normal? Usual, typical, or expected? Define. Normal. Usual. Define typical, same. unusual, untypical, <laughs> non <-typical>. very unexpected. <laughs> <laughs> Everything you do throws me for a loop. <laughs> so I think that, I think we're there now. That I'll say this: those the the antonyms of what you just said, the unusual and all that, definitely describe his cooking. Yeah, like mm -hmm. unexpected. What is in the? Oh, oh I was What's not. Most, I was not expecting that. <laughs> well, he's like, I'm totally well, normal. Hey, we got you a few ribeyes shipped over from Japan for Christmas. What you do with them? I <laughs> uh, melted them in gravy and put them in a roast. No, uh, made soup. I, that's normal. Made soup. Just a normal everyday like guy a, thing. I felt like I'm ahead of the game on that one. <laughs> like, I still feel like I'm an innovator. I figured something will. out, right? Like, just put the better meat in whatever it is. And so, are good. you in fact a Renaissance man? Well, then? <laughs> <laughs> Little inside, I know. <laughs> oh shoot! <laughs> are you a Renaissance man or a jack of all trades? <laughs> <laughs> oh, then why is it what the all right, Martin, you're a unnormal, super smart guy. Why is it that I feel I'm normal? Because I think that level of normal is all self. It's a self definition of what normal is. You feel I feel normal, but I know if I look back at myself, I am not. If I'm looking at me from the outside, I'm like, no, that cat ain't normal. I mean, just you think you're normal because you were raised by Phil and Si. <laughs> you're like, oh, way more normal than those guys, which, and you a know, pack of, probably. A pack of dogs. Well, maybe that's why we surround <laughs> ourselves with such eccentric characters. <laughs> so that you feel a little like, well, I'm better than him. Right. Like, do it. I'm, I'm right. hey, better I'm, off than that cat. I took a shower three hey, times uh, this week. Must I'm be smart, normal. Hey, I'm a C-plus man. I'm smarter than half of them. Yeah. <laughs> See, there you go. Hey, there you but go. Where you so at some point, though, you're pulling out of your body and you're looking at yourself. You, or like just you're able to cup. do that and then understand that you're not normal. <laughs> yeah. But inside your you, when your when your brain is inside yourself, you feel like you are normal. I think so. Yeah, I think that I think everybody would agree with that to some extent. As long as you're being yourself, you just think that's normal. Mm -hmm. That is that is what normal is because your is definition. I'll say this: of, you're being yourself every time I'm ever around you. I'm like, hey, that's just Willie. That's just what he does. Yeah. <laughs> so it's normal for you. Well, the rest of us, you know, even though y'all have enlightened me some, I still feel like I'm normal. You know why I wore the flame boots? You mm. might know this story we've been waiting for a good reason for a very long time. so i was in i was at the santa monica pier and i'm walking by these it was like a shoe store but and i and i, I just picked up the boot all right and i'm looking and goes hey hey i can give you a good deal on and then i'm like shoot why did i pick it up you know i'm like i, it, I don't need a sales pitch and i'm like no, no i'm just looking i'm just looking and he said, "That's my." He said, "Those are my Cinderellas, my last pair." And I said, "Yeah, cool, you know." And I said, "I'm not interested." And then the, he looks at me and he goes, 
You put those boots on, you'll be on fire. <laughs> Just like that. And I thought, ooh. <laughs> like, and so I looked at Corey, and she said, you will never wear those. If you buy them, you're never going to wear them. Bum, bum, bum. <laughs> and I wore them. Totally normal thing to do. 14,000 times. You wore them every to prove day. Her wrong because she said I would never wear them. Then well, I wore them. I oh. think the biggest question there is how much did those cost? $80. Okay. That ain't bad. 20 of that went to Harley Davidson. Yeah. I mean, they were the last <laughs> pair. Like, like yeah. they were like, um, they were discounted. That's rude. You're on fire. Wait a minute. Is that, that's not them. No, nah, because he had flames on the toes. Let's say Doug Dynasty oh. boots. No, nah, I just Googled your name. Oh, Flame never. Boots. Uh, yeah. See, look, there you are wearing there them. There you are. Where, that's oh them. yeah, that's them. Is that, that them? Yeah, uh -huh. that's hundred percent them. Do you have a lot of red toed boots? Those aren't them. Those are oh. a different pair I have. <laughs> <laughs> well, not... once I started wearing, like people would give them to me, and there were different versions, and but, but there they're... were there were three different versions of that. Like, but the OG they were one hard was, to find. They, they were Harley Davidson, anymore. right? Yeah, Didn't the originals say... are Harley Davidson. Yeah, that's what I thought. So this is what happens. The boss come and kicked the door down a while ago, <laughs> acting like we was on Duck Dynasty. They gave all of us a heart yeah. attack again. Get back to work. And, but we do need him, okay? Because we have an issue, okay, that we're discussing. Technically, we don't. Either. Okay. Right, well, I've got a big issue. <laughs> You've okay? got many issues. I have issues. said on this podcast, okay, and I was rebuked by some chef in New York. Mm-hmm. I said, hey, I like when I order my steak, mm -hmm. I order it medium plus. Well, the chef in New York said there's no such thing. And I said, I beg your pardon, sir. You don't know what you're talking about. I wouldn't eat nothing you cook. But anyway. Medium plus? Medium plus. Okay, not See, medium look, well. Look, this guy, he's eating yeah. everywhere hey, around the world. What is medium? What is that? Thank you. That's, hey, when you order the steak, when they say, sir, how would you like your steak? I always say, I want it light pink in the middle. And Hey, I don't care if it's Medium boring. well. No, no, don't ever say the word well, because then you're going to have a shoe. No, you, a shoe come you out. started with medium. It's medium Medium plus. plus is a person who a little pack. wants no, to no. wear a medium shirt but can't quite fit in that, no. and so they need a little no. extra. No. You got the extra Like, right. I would be an extra large plus. No, no. No, <laughs> you got the extra right, okay? I don't want it medium I like it. I like rare. It. Okay, si, you just no, made up a word. No, no. Listen to me. Listen to me. You I don't want just... it medium rare. I don't want it run red blood. I want it light. Well, no, everything Maybe. you're saying is, is the way you can cook something. You're saying, I don't want it rare. That's it. That's the word that's associated that's with That's why it. I put You don't well. want it well done. No, no, I, hey, I don't use You want it medium. I don't want it ever But on the medium, it, well, it could be well, medium. Nothing. I don't ever medium want it rare. Well, nothing. Because when medium you say well, well they're going to burn it, okay, where it's dried out and it's boot leather. Well, that's what they You're did. just using the wrong word. No. Plus means plus what? It's just a bad, which I know, you're, I mean, you're not a well, wordsmith maybe I should or say, hey, technically you know, you're not you really like educated. Yours. I'm just saying you're, you're putting a well, word in there that doesn't. Well, hey, all right, let me ask you this. When I say medium raw, what is that going <laughs> to say to you? What is that going to say to you? Well, if you, told to me me that, pleading. if you told me that and I were cooking it, I still would have to go the first thing you said, which is medium. So I which know is, that it's not raw. That would be rare. So still the medium, you're, you're not giving enough credit to the word when you say medium. A chef, well, hey, know, okay, I know where he the wants reason, to be. The reason I say that is because I've said, okay, I'm telling them what the steak should look like. Okay, when I say medium plus, <laughs> okay, they should be thinking, okay, medium just way. a little past... Yo, See, I just wouldn't know what that plus what like me. I that that makes no sense to me, because you could put whatever word you. Well, you could uh, say medium hey. fair, medium. Well, no, no. You know. well, hey, that's the reason I said I actually give them a color. Okay, <laughs> medium plus is word. telling them, hey, I want it cooked a little bit more longer than you medium rare. I don't want it rare. I it's want it okay right. to say medium well. They know that no. you still want it. Hey, anytime I put well on it, 
it would be like cutting this right here, scabbard. And well, that's what it's. Try to eat it. Well, perhaps you're just Can't eat you've been it. damaged by somebody in the past that cooked, you know, and you you had that one experience, and now you're trying to say everybody. Well, no, no. Why don't you understand when I say, okay, when you said, sir, how would you like your steak? I said, hey, how thick is the steak to begin with? The guy says, three inches. I said, I want it light pink in the middle. That's medium well. Nope. Nope. <laughs> it's medium oh, well. You can't use the word well <laughs> that's, or it's going to come back tough as boot leather. Technically, that they is gonna medium burn it, well. They're burn it dry. I think you're, ner- you're feeling insecure because you don't want to say well. No. Nope. But it, you, like a, well, you like a steak medium well. That's what you no, like. No. But you don't like that you... No, are that guy, hey, but you're that guy. Medium well has got no pink in it anywhere. It's the color of this boat. It's leather, and it tastes no, just like no, this. No, that's is. well done. No, that's hey, well. No, that's that's just all the juice. You're just you're putting the wrong and, describers. Hey, you might as well just hey here. Let me let me take my belt off and oh, I'll I eat my darn we belt. Whew, here, let's okay. give me the knife. Ah. You know, now I'll cut this and eat it because that's what you're cooking. That's well. That's All right, well. So, so we're going to lose the plus because that doesn't, that's not a good qualifier. Well, hey, I, I've described what I want. So I you, want it light pink in the so middle. You stand, well, if I'm at a nice these restaurant, dummy I go, can't, hey, these dummies can't bring the light pink to me. But, but, uh, you, hey, what we, is your we problem? We can always, I think, get to where you want. So I'd probably order a little bit more because you can still get it there. Because once you've now, gone you to ever, the past, you, you ever can't go put back. Well, on a steak. You're fixing to have a belt to eat. Well, this is what you do. Next time you go to a place, <laughs> order one medium, cut in it, and say, no, nope. just a little more. Well, why not just tell them, hey, light pink in the middle? Or just don't get what the What you steak. don't understand about light pink in the middle? Yeah. Hey, look, at why you got it on the grill? Why don't you just eat chicken, hey, Yeah, you got it on the grill. <laughs> I you just told need you to start eating chicken. Pink. Eat chicken, hey, eat take fish. Your knife, take your fork, cut it a little, and say, oh, it's light pink. Okay, here we go. Hey, take it to him. It's light pink. It's ready. Medium plus. Okay, that's my judgment. Is that all I'm needing? Your judgment was wrong. <laughs> I was just wondering where you stood on it. I, yeah, I, I thought. Judge. Uh, yeah. Be another uh, judge. He don't know what he's talking about either. I was hoping that maybe, you know, the rest of the world and Dell Jr. were wrong and somebody had heard of medium plus before. Because Dell Jr. just talked about this on his podcast. Oh, I don't know. He had one of his. Is that a word? Is that some. Is the people. Hey, that? what we have here is a failure to communicate. One of the people that worked for him, they went. He took hey, everybody out know, to dinner. You don't know how to interpret. And his, his employee ordered a steak medium plus. And he says it should be banned. It's not a real term. And yeah, that's, you know, that's not, just, I think that's just everybody's trying to use that word. That's a that's a platform. That's a network. Somebody like Cy goes, "That's a cool word. I'm gonna use, I'm gonna work that in somewhere I go." You know, and he so then he orders it. It's like that's not even a word, dude. Oh, uh, it just made me wonder if like the person that worked on Dale Junior's team listened to Cy because he's talked about this before. And yeah. up until this man, I had never remotely heard the term medium plus Mm-mm. it's medium well have you ever heard the term light pink <laughs> i'm not the one you're arguing with cooking i'm just asking hey, y'all done son y'all done put hey i don't want to hit a bad button long. on me buddy uh, i don't want my hey, you can keep saying anyway. that as long as you say i'm gonna like now i can see if i was tell you exactly german. what color i can see if i can speak in german <laughs> we'd have an interpreter doing it Y'all can't. We need an interpreter for the English language. Uh, we hey, need folks, an interpreter for you. Hey, I know that's for sure. Hey, folks, what does the term light pink mean to you? Medium well. It's medium <laughs> plus. Oh, ain't it funny what he stands on and what he doesn't? Oh, thank, thanks, boss. We, right. we appreciate you. Hey, yeah, go back to work. Yeah, get back to work. Yeah. Call me yeah. later. <laughs> now get back to work. Now. All right, let's take another break. We'll be oh, back. Hey, we'll take another break. break. <laughs> So, hey, don't be jealous. My, Mine's way better. My former right hand man walked in with this dude and said he had no idea that that's what you were that going. That's for. what I did. Is that what three you months going ago? For? That's how you introduced it to me. Was a mullet. So I, I don't. I just I thought mean, you were letting your hair grow back out. Huh? When well, oh, that's yeah, pretty in the back, <laughs> that's in the pretty back <laughs> of when you can see skin <laughs> on the sides, that's that's the first sign of a mullet. I mean, Do you I, cut yours yourself. No, I get it professionally done. Just 
And just whack you pay, you pay him. It's uh, done. Looked like he so, went a little heavier on the right. Than did the I? Left, maybe. Who knows? It was late. <laughs> Ten thirty. I was bored. I said, "I'm going to cut my beard." Then I was like, "This is a lot of hair. I'm going to cut it too." But then I couldn't see the back, and I was like, "Might as well." So you try didn't it think out. about the fact that I had a mullet as well. No. Okay. Never crossed my mind. Because <laughs> I remember when you came over the house before I hired you. 10 years ago. That was long ago. Like at 20. No. No, when I hired him 20 years ago, he was like a child. <laughs> Plus 13. No, 30 to 14. Ooh. No, when he comes over, he's, you know, he's got like a short little haircut and no beard. And then. That's not true. Did he have pants on? Yeah, <laughs> I had on the ear. Gonna look at me as a gigantic beard. No, you didn't have that massive thing. Well, that well it had to grow. So then everything grew out, and and then when you moved on to your next profession, you shorned everything. You look all. Clean I've been doing that though. Not now. As, I look up, much. and you've got a ginormous mullet. So when I left the store a minute ago, there were I'm just going to say you're three, welcome. That's three all mullets in the store. I, of, I mean. Of <laughs> I think what it goes to show you is you are very much an influencer. Maybe, yeah. yeah so well, how, do, how does that make? Uh, here I am claiming this, and like me and you look like we're on a thirteen-year-old travel baseball team. So, like, I don't know who's following <laughs> who. So, we may be really late to the party. Thirteen-year-old travel, but team. I am living out what I wanted to do when I was fourteen, and my mom wouldn't. Which is weird. Uh, now I think back. It's not that she wouldn't let me have a... Nobody cared what your hair... It, she, was, she wouldn't take me to get it cut. Just do it yourself. Well, we didn't have the resources. You grew up with your own bedroom, with your own furniture and all that. We grew up... You didn't have scissors? In a shack with no, nothing sharp to cut our own hair with. No scissors. <laughs> nothing without fish guts on it. Well, my. no, I mean... <laughs> Every knife they had. It wasn't until I met a friend in school who could cut hair that I started getting that, but but I didn't have this. I like I wanted this full big thing, and back when it was really hot, like <laughs> back back, back when, when it was like eighty nine. Back when Billy Ray was Billy Ray. Billy Ray, and yeah. I did get that I looked like Billy Ray. In fact, I went to his hometown somewhere in Kentucky, and they were like, "You got to go to this Applebee's because they're going to think it's him." But, but I was. Uh, I had a lot of people think I look. Whoa! Like Billy well, we Ray. can't just brush <laughs> yeah. over this. Like Does Applebee's, Billy that, Ray. That's Cyrus? where apparently when he go, it's somewhere north uh, east Kentucky. I don't know. Somebody, I'm sure. To be will fair, know. makes a lot of sense. And yeah. somebody said when he's in town, he goes to. I, I'm pretty sure it's Applebee's. I don't. He must be trying <laughs> sure to have family dinner. Restaurant in that. I wonder if he gets his is. bourbon steak with onions and mushroom. <laughs> All I can think of. That's when I was in college, so that was like way back in the. That was back in the day. You had a mullet in college. Yeah, I mean, of course it's small, not a, not a big one, not a full grown one. (laughs) I think they need to come back. Well, because you just because normally I cut my I've cut my own hair. You cut my hair a couple times just for funsies. (laughs) Yeah. I, we get bored, and my hair changes. Um, That's because it'll grow back. What'd your wife say? So. She went to bed, and then I had nothing to do, and basketball was off the TV, and I was like, I guess I'll go trim my beard up. And then I was looking at it, I was like, might as well cut my hair, too. And I was like, I always cut a mullet anyway. I was like, you always start, yeah. yeah. you always When you got long hair and you cut it, you do something ridiculous. It's like when- And then I just stop. It's like when restaurants don't have unsweet tea. I'm like, that's where it started. <laughs> it started there. And then you sweetened it. So you had it at one point. You had it, and then you left it. You possess the ability. You possess the ability. I'm sorry. We don't have that, you know. So then. You did. (laughs) But now you don't. You put sugar in it. You know, I've been here for So you hung on to it. But when she woke up and when y'all did your morning routine. Before me, I walked in there and said, hey, she goes, are you filming me right now? (laughs) That was her exact, that's the only thing she said. And then she started laughing. I said, I mean, I got to. She like it? I don't. I don't believe so. She, she kissed me on the way out and said, "I love you and your terrible." Well, I mean, mullet. it doesn't mean your marriage is over. I'm, you know, <laughs> I mean, golly, I, <laughs> I mean, she still loves you. You know, it, yeah. I'm, but she said, "And your mullet." So I don't think she meant that she. Loves so here's my question for you: If she doesn't like it, do you cut it off and please her? Um, she did say she might go on strike. 
Which, yeah, then it's whoop, it gone. Then it's kind of wow. <laughs> See, I'm just the opposite. <laughs> if Corey says, I hate that, I'm like, then get used to it. <laughs> so she not like, and she, she didn't like it. And so she goes, how long are you going to keep that? I'm like, I don't know. You still not like it? <laughs> so I'm just the opposite. No, but I'll just give you time for it to grow on you. Yeah. I think you should grow a mullet, Si. No, I ain't growing a mullet. I mean, you already he grown had it. one. Well, you had uh, like a... Most of mine's falling out, so I ain't worried. Skullet, like a... a pr- nice. He had like a skullet. wispy... Skullet. Wispy, drawing. mature mullet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure mine and size times have passed to grow a mullet. Did you ever you? have one? No. Nah. Not even as a kid? Mm-mm. No, I had lines cutting my hair. Aerodynamics, ah. you know. Well, you could be faster in the husky section. That way you my could get to those grow. 38s first. But I'll say this. When I was like 14, my hair did not grow as good as it grows now. Like... Wasn't as full. I, I got fuller a hair. hair. The the more mature I got, the more because my mullet in like my senior picture was a mullet, but everything grew to the right. So it was like nice mullet on the right, zero on the left. Kind of like size beard. Kind of like size. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> like, I have a bubble off, but a mirror, but a mirror image. But it wasn't until uh, I grew my hair out there and it was curly. I thought I had straight hair. How would you know? So you grew it out. I kept it short for a lot of time. You've had a lot of interesting hairdos, though. I mean, you've had. Hey, while I still got it, I'm just going to keep messing with it. You've, you've went bleach blonde. You've had frosted tips. You've, the bleach blonde was pretty recent. Yeah, I know. I did that last year? Mm-hmm. Last yeah. Halloween or something? And then it stayed yeah. for a while. Well, it stayed till it grew out. Yeah, it yeah. had a lot you more ought staying to... power than I thought. <laughs> yeah, I, I, was, I thought that was like a party you thing. Cut it, make a mohawk. Like I've a had a mohawk. mohawk. So, so I always wanted one, one. I never, uh, I never I, did quite pull. Oh no! Growing up, I've, every summer that's what we got: all Robertsons, Mohawks, Mohawks. Really? And I mean, it was it was all the way down, you know. So aside from summer Mohawks, have you ever had any questionable haircuts? No. You're a military man, so well, they kind of controlled yeah. what you did for most of your life. Yeah, they uh, and they're not very nice about cutting your hair either. <laughs> No. They're mean about no. it. Oh, well, they just, they just, hey, one guy sat down in a chair next to me and they just, and hey, he had one of them big warts on top of uh. his head. <laughs> just, just, just blood everywhere. Zipped it off. Oh, no, his blood spurting everywhere. His best impression of his dad is, his we, have that video. we have that video. <laughs> a lot of foolishness going on here. A lot of That's right. laughing tomfoolery going on. <laughs> Before we get into the full, a lot of jokesters here, a lot of <laughs> a lot of jokey jokesters here. Funny, ha 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 ha, funny stuff. Yeah, you boys are regular comedians. Uh, Y'all should do a show. <laughs> We're trying to. <laughs> He's going to keep character for uh, I know. at least 10 I was going to try before that he went into that to get. I know him and Sire are going hunting today. Together? Uh, no. Against one another. Uh, against it's one a another. battle. It's it's a competition, and hey, the, it's already decided. Okay, I'm winning. Where's the competition at? Uh, it's on Phil's property. My We're, property. Well, <laughs> oh, that's I had a hard oh. time losing on my property. <laughs> well, it's just going to happen today. <laughs> yeah, you boys going after them big bucks. Hey, that's it. Hey. <laughs> it's not how big... How many? <laughs> oh, you should should have been with us yesterday. Uh oh, I didn't. We didn't see but fifty. Fifty deer. Fifty deer. Eight bucks. Three of them was big ones. One of them was a old one, and we would have shot him if he had come up there, you know, in a little little closer range. Seven hundred was too much at dark. It's kind of like this podcast. <laughs> hey, three big ones, one old one. <laughs> hey. Well, look. <laughs> What if, I hey, take it back. That's your best line. Hey, look, you, you get, I had no idea where that was hey, going. You, I'll fix A. Hey, you Who get knows? what you get, boys. <laughs> I was hey. trying to figure out how this was 700 yards to dark. Yeah, hey. I, I had no idea. Uh, hey. hey. <laughs> I tell you this. Because I love you. 